Folks, you ready to watch some highly trained knuckleheads? <laughs> you know, you can train a knucklehead all day long, 365, and they're still going to be knuckleheads. El, El Wairia police released statement on Homily Avenue search warrant video. A 17-month-old is in stable condition after the home he was staying at was raided by El Wairia police on Wednesday, according to the child's family. El Wairia police SWAT officers served a search warrant at 331 Parmalee Avenue shortly after 2 p.m. Wednesday, according to a department news release. According to police, two diversionary devices or flashbangs were set off outside the home before officers breached the door. Knuckleheads. Inside the home were Courtney Price and her infant son, Waylon. The 331 Parmalee Avenue address is the home of Rydia Jennings and her husband, Marion Jennings, and it was the address on the warrant. But when the Chronicle Telegram talked to the family after the raid, they said the police had the wrong house and that the incident harmed Waylon. Oh, cops, you're knuckleheads. Cops, you couldn't report to the, to the public that you were at the wrong house? Oops. A neighbor's ring camera shared with the Chronicle Telegram shows the moments leading up to the police entering the home. In the video, approximately 20 officers in tactical gear can be seen approaching the Jennings home. What a bunch of animals. It looked like a sounder of sow to me. One can be heard saying, camera, 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 before an officer shouts for someone to open the door while banging against it. Oh. <laughs> Police search warrant. Come to the door. The officer yells, also announcing there is a dog in the residence. Shortly there, oh, don't you shoot that dog. Knucklehead cops. They were all ready to do it, though. Shortly thereafter, a flashbang is set off in the front yard, and Price is told to exit the home with her hands up while smoke from the flashbang settles. Price, can, what a terrorizing event. Price can be seen being taken out of the home in handcuffs and walked through the front yard and driveway. There is no footage of the baby being removed from the home shown in the neighbor's ring video. El Waria police dispute the family's allegations that Waylon was harmed in the incident. Of course they would. Who cares what they say, though? In its news release, the department states detectives, paramedics, and Price assessed Waylon and confirmed he did not have any apparent injuries. Oh, these cops are so smart. Look how smart they were. These are really smart cops, and they could tell. Life care was called to the home to further assess the child and transported him. And Price said, oh, so he was transported to a med... Wow. E even after the cops said, there's nothing wrong with this kid. Cops, you're a bunch of losers. We don't respect you at all. Any allegation suggesting the child was exposed to chemical agents, lack of medical attention, or negligence is not true, the news release states. Psh, we just witnessed it with our own eyes. On Wednesday, Rydia Jennings said, El Waria police have been at the family's home five times in the past year looking for a teen who lived there before the Jennings moved into the rental house. She suspects the warrant sent from an investigation into the former residence. The Jenningses still get mail from the previous tenants, they said on Wednesday. On Friday, Rydia Jennings and Waylon said it was in stable condition, but still struggling at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital in Cleveland, and that the family is looking into its legal options against the department. Yes, I like to hear that. I do. Let's watch this video together, folks. Nothing says police state like a sounder of pigs LARPing through the neighborhood. And then, of course, flashbanging an innocent wrong house. 17-month-old gets sent to the hospital. And they're like, oh, he's all right. Knuckleheads. Police, the door! Come to the door! Folks, 
there's no chance those idiots didn't know that she was not the he that they were looking for. They're terrible people. <laughs>